Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Tiffany, owner and creator of Aquarian Papery here on YouTube, Etsy, and also Instagram, as well as Purple Maple Planning on Instagram. Today we are here for a plan with me daily style in my Hobonichi weeks. So, um, there's another channel, another video on my channel for the weekly version of this. Um, so now we're doing the dailies. I split it up so it wouldn't be such a super long video and you can kind of watch what you want. So first off, here is the kit I'm going to use. This is, um, from my shop. These are my trial stickers so I can make sure everything fits great. So we have, um, the same setup for each day. So we have a date cover, a flag, bottom washi, a couple boxes, a full box, glitter headers, heart checklists, and then little um, headers. And the work and dinner headers are um, just this is what works for me in my planner. So I have each day and then I also include an extra deco sheet um, just so you can have decoration on each day. So, uh, my cover doesn't like to stay down. It's already getting chunky. So, um, if you're interested, by the way, I also have a setup video for my Hobonichi here on my channel. So here is the week using, um, the same artwork, just in week format for my planner. And then if we flip to today, here are my daily pages. Um, I will actually go back and rewind plan these. Um, so, yeah. I'm also thinking for this, um, having each week, like a tab for each week throughout January, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm going to grab Monday and Tuesday. And like I said, these are my trial stickers. So this is kind of to make sure that all of this works and is sized correctly. And these are not. So I'm going to just kind of center them. So I'll fix that, but you can see that it's a little bit small. Although actually, it doesn't look bad. So we'll see. I'd love feedback. Do you guys like it to where it covers the whole thing? Or do you like it inside the box? Do you like to see the box? And then the bottom washi, hopefully. a little bit small. Just a ditch. Just a ditch. So this is why I try out all of my stickers before I list them so that they are right when you guys get them. So for my daily setup, this is where my daily to-dos are going to go. This is my primary daily planner. Um, so the weeks have an overview of like what's happening that week and general ideas. I also for this week, the 4th through the 10th, um, put in to do's in my weekly spread just so that I can kind of have as I'm planning because my idea is to get ahead. So um, I will actually be sitting down Friday to plan the next, next week. Um, so I want to try and plan everything out and kind of get ahead so that I know what needs to get done that day so that when I'm the night before the day planning back here, I know where I know how to plan around things. If that makes sense. Um, so I did keep these stickers the same size as what would fit in a weekly. Um, I didn't make them bigger because, well, 
a lot of people use this functionally in like a lot of writing so I didn't want to I didn't want to take up a bunch so I think the first thing um, so I think on this column because it's kind of shorter it's smaller I'm going to do my to do is that crooked yes So, whoop, that ripped. So with my sticker paper, I print all of my, if I, if my planner has Tomoe River paper in it, I print on my premium matte vinyl paper because most of the time when you are, um, if you do something crooked or something, you can very carefully peel it up and position it the way you want to. So there's my to-do. I'm going to put my top four. Okay. And those so you can see the heart checklists do fit in this little day um, timed column here. So, yes. All right. So down here in the bottom, I want to put dinner. I don't need a ton of room. That looks good. And then I can just write our dinner here. Um, let's do a glitter header. And if this is compl- it actually looks straight on there. Okay, cool. Um, so this, like this portion of the day, I want to save for journaling. This top portion here, um, maybe? No, we're going to do it like this. As I'm saying it, I'm changing my mind. So I have my general to-dos, then I have my work list, dinner, I'm going to put my little flag. Like so. Okay. And then, so I did include a canceled, a canceled sticker because you just never know. Um, and then boxes and things. So. Focus. Okay, so I think this will do for my pre-planning. Let's see. I don't have any. I was gonna make myself date dots. And then I for got those are too big. So I'll just write the dates in. Okay. Um, let's see. So today is Tuesday that I'm filming this. Okay. So some of this stuff is going to be double, if you will. Um, other stuff won't be. 
So one of the things that will be double is, um, I will keep track of my husband's work schedule, both, um, here in my weekly and then here in my daily. there and he was out of town last night so I'm gonna just mark that um, work-wise it was a design day so I have design sticker put that there um, What else did I see? I plan out my week and then I forget what I did. So I'm going to do some journaling um, back here. Just about the day in general. Um, so I probably won't do that on camera. But like yesterday it was windy. I-25 was closed. He was gone. I did design work. I didn't have any errands to run, I did pay bills. So, I will mark that. So I'm definitely gonna have to learn how to use this daily spread. So I have this little um, sampler sheet from Lisa Loren Plans that I found in one of my sticker books and it actually has, focus, a pay bills icon. So I'll put that down. Um, I'm going to put my little box down here in the corner nothing was canceled dinner work Um, yesterday was my Etsy payday. Don't have. I don't have an Etsy sticker. That's odd. Okay. Well, let's see what. I'm going to just put this up here. Mark that. And then I still have a couple of heart checklists, canceled stickers, some boxes, and glitter headers that I can use. Um, I'm definitely thinking of resizing these though. Um, just so that like the date cover, I kind of like being inside the line, but then again, it doesn't go. The to-do header, I want wider. I want it to actually fit. Heart checklists are good. Um, 
and I think whatever this size is, I'll make boxes and stuff so that it fits the columns, maybe. Okay. Alright, so on to Tuesday, which is today. I'm going to move that. So, like I said, you have to be super careful. But you can without doing too much damage, peel the stickers up. Header. Okay. And then dinner. It's a trash day here. Oh, I like that. The glitter header. Okay, so the camera died. Um, but I was explaining, the glitter header came out into this past my, so I just used my little flag right there to kind of conceal it. So now this is my journaling space. So now this is my journaling space. I have a little bit of my to-do or like appointments and stuff so I really like this layout for right now and as I go I probably will change the way that I lay out my days just because I know myself um let's take a look I'm filming that's more of a to-do these are my top to-dos I do want to mark that I filmed actually this right like that maybe it overlapped there we go so do you want to do a icon that I filmed also want to mark that I need to go to Best Buy. Which isn't really a to-do. Or a work. Um, so 
filming as a work. Filming as a work. Okay, so I'm going to use a scallop box. Right here. Why do we keep doing this crooked? That right. It's a little bit better. And then I just looked outside and it is actually snowing. So I'm going to pull from this pack of stickers. Because I have these from the Happy Planner, which are little snows. Not snows. That was the wrong word, but they're, they're a little snow icon. Because it is snowing. Okay. I'm trying to think what to use to mark. Of course. So in my deco sheet for this week, I have. Um, I kind of, sure, I'll use one of these. So what it is that I have to go to Best Buy for is to pick up a new tablet for my grandma. So I'm just going to use a little, a little cell phone foil icon. Um, I will also have to go. So my husband was out of town. I did drop him off at work so I will have to go pick him up from the shop. And then Um, I had my glasses on for most of the day, which I like to mark because honestly, I'm bad at, I'm bad at that. So I have these stickers from a little stationery co I don't know if you can still get them. These have been for years. Um, I've had these for years. I'm going to just stick these up here. That. And it's also laundry. And I have an icon for that. Go. Okay. Now the rest of the week, I won't have these type of things. Um, so I'll probably just set this stuff up because, like, I have a to do, which I will write in. And I have some things, but, um, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday, so with each day I did try and make the header and the bottom washi different, 
to where they all coordinate, but they aren't exactly the same the whole week. It's probably crooked. I'm okay with that. I am having technical difficulties, so I'm going to use my tweezers. Because that worked a lot better. Okay. And then... Oh, and then I, <laughs> I'm not actually in the crab. So like I said, if you're super careful, you can peel this paper off, the stickers off of this paper. You just have to go slow and be patient. Like, I was not. Okay. And it doesn't leave a residue. Yes, I had to look because I didn't. And then I am So that might look crooked. 
crooked compared to my work sticker, but it's actually correct. It's actually straight. It's just that my work sticker is a little bit bigger or smaller than my glitter headers for some crazy reason. Okay. So I have my work to do, my general to do my work. Um I don't think I have any thing up here yet. And then it's not the day, so I won't be journaling. So I will put this aside and save it. All of my daily stickers together. Okay. Alright. Thank you for watching and I hope if you liked it, you'll subscribe. See you next time.